Hey guys, this is unboxing of the Hisense portable air conditioner. So uh, summer is coming and this one is sold at Costco. This is a new brand, uh, brand new to the market. Hisense, they also sell TV. Uh, this one is a Chinese brand. It covers a 550 square feet uh, for medium room, 8000 BTU SACC. So it comes with Wi-Fi and heat pump. So it does four modes. So uh, four mode, which is cool air conditioning. Uh, and then heat during the winter, dehumidify, so uh, you know, if you live in a state that has a lot of humidity, you can turn that on, and then also fan if uh, you know, you just want to have nice breeze in your room, and uh, it's pretty quiet, it says, and uh, it has a snap assembly kit, it comes with two year warranty, and what's notable about this air conditioner is that uh, it's different than Pinguino, it has dual host design, uh, dual host design works differently by drawing air in, so exhaust air, hot air out. And it comes with a remote control right here. And so also you can control it with the Connect Life app, which is available on iOS and Android phone. And so you can connect it to Google Home, so Smart Home, and then Alexa, so you can control set temperature, uh, change the mode and so on. And I'm going to show you why this one is different so it has dual host design you know more space than single host what's uh, benefit about this is uh it's energy efficient so it says high sense portable air conditioner is energy efficient which it's dual host design so one host draws air in and then exhausts air out so the hot air out and then uh usually when you have a single host it's gonna make the room uh you know have uh pressure like pressure in the room with this you don't because uh, it takes air from the outside and then draws air hot air out and it has fast cooling with the well hose design faster cooling so it cools the room faster within a single hose uh, by keeping the cool air indoors and prevent preventing the outdoor air from leaking outside so in terms of noise uh, it's pretty quiet quiet office it's 40 db and uh, light traffic is 50 db so this one it says is uh, quiet, but depending on your mode that you're using, right? Electric tool toothbrush, it's more noisy, vacuum cleaner, 70 dB, and cool. So it has Wi-Fi, it has everything that we need for medium room. And let's go and unbox this. Costco, right now, $80 off. You should get it because it's gonna be really warm in the next few weeks. To unbox this, you just cut the strap out, so it was holding this. I'm gonna open the top right here. It has the cooling kit uh, with dual hose design. So dual hose design on the top. So make sure you keep this uh, before you discard the box. Oh, that's how it looks like. And just keep the box in case you want to return it or have any problems. It's pretty well packed, so I'm going to remove the kit out like this. And like that. All right. So that's the unit right here that we have. Here you go. That's the uh, Hisense portable air conditioner. It's a decent size. It's pretty good. It's a little bit smaller, like shorter than the uh, uh, Longi Pinguino and I'm gonna remove this so it says if you actually move this uh, right here please keep it right upright at least two hours before use to prevent damaging the compressor so uh, when you put in a car trunk sometimes you cannot put it you know upright you have to lay flat so when you get home once you get home, you put it right at least two hours. It is recommended to do like six hours to avoid damaging the compressor. So uh, before you start using it, it comes with the hose right here, which is the uh, window kit that you're gonna use. And then on the back also right here, that's the you know grill filter and so on on the back. So that's the windows kit that comes with the Hisense portable air conditioner. So this is at the top. And then uh, dual hose, just take it out like this. We're gonna use, and uh, here's some screws inside here. So we're gonna have, you know, that's it. And this one is, that goes on the back of uh, the air conditioner. One like this, that's the first hole. Okay. 
to reveal the unit just like a fancy car look at this this is the high sand so it has controls on the top right here and this opens up to uh, you know have cool air heat and humid dehumidifier and then fan as well so power Wi-Fi mode cool dry fan heat and then this is the temperature settings uh, low medium high and fan and then this is the energy guide 108 dollar uh that's for a year i think yearly cost and it says stops right here okay so that's the high sense right here i guess that's the temperature display right here so it's gonna show you the room temperature including the hose is you know some foam right here so you can tape it around this edge right here so it's gonna form a seal in the window so no hot air or uh cold air is gonna get out of the room and yeah they give a bunch and so right here that's the hose to drain so once you store it you're gonna have to uh, drain the water once you're done like, using it and then there's the remote control right here and the manual inside so that's the remote control and there's a guide right here so let's get started so the good thing is it has wheels so you can push it from one room to another if you want to change the room which is nice right you can move around so it's pretty heavy if you want to lift it so it's nice that they put wheels on i'm gonna take out the logo right here that's the high sense there you go that's pretty nice so if you read the quick start guide the manual uh, this actually goes around the uh, window so this only works uh, this air conditioner the high sense only works for sliding windows so sliding up sliding left and right and these ones will actually is a foam seal that goes around the window that you open so it's gonna create a seal so there's no leak of air like hot air and cold air going in your room and they have different extensions for here this is where the dual hose will come uh, so this is extension so if your window is actually uh, bigger i mean longer you want to use a smaller extension if it's uh, even longer you want to use the bigger extension so you just stack it up like this and this actually will go this is the exhaust and also the air intake so it will go on top like this and it's gonna draw air in and then the other one is exhaust air out the hot air out just like this and this one will actually go behind the air conditioner like that just clip it on so uh, this is gonna go on the window but before that you want to put the seal around it's gonna face out like this so there's a face in face out right here and you want to want to go like this so you want to make a seal actually around this you want to you know put it the seal around like this so there's no more air that come in and uh, you want to use the extension right here there's a small extension, there's a bigger extension. If you use the short side right here, it's already pre-cut for you. Uh, it's just the same height as the bracket, so you don't have to cut it. And make sure it's all the way down right here, as you can see. All the way down, just push it. It's gonna hold in place like this. As you can see right here, it's uh, the same height. So when you lower the window, it's gonna be uh, the same height it's gonna seal it and then i'm gonna use a smaller extension yeah. like this that's how it looks like so it's sliding up like this and then just like this so if you have like a window that slides from left to right you want to use the longer extension because it's gonna go way high up right here and the longer extension actually is gonna go way up you want to use these uh, they are actually made to go pretty high up so you can extend this but make sure you want to use like a rivet which is gonna hold this in place otherwise it's gonna be wobbly and it's gonna fall back down and then just make sure you seal on the bottom as well right here I place this it's gonna bump against the seal and so just adjust it the length right here and just like that when you come down uh, you want to see like see there's a gap right here so 
when we put the seal, this part gonna have a gap. So we we'll probably have to, uh, you know, push it up a little bit. I put the top seal right here around. And when I do that, I'm gonna lower it. So I'm gonna know if there's a gap right here. So this creates a perfect seal right here, but right here, it's bigger. The gap is bigger. So I'm gonna cut it and probably insert something here. I cut it the same length right here. And when I lower it down, there's a small gap right here. So that means air, hot air and cold air gonna come in and escape from your room. And so we probably want to you know raise this up a little bit on the bottom right here you can see guys uh, i fixed the gap by adding a little bit more padding on the bottom right here so double padding right here it's gonna increase the height uh, you know turn this over so we're gonna we will be able to how we put this in is we're gonna use the same so this is a rectangle and uh, we're gonna go uh, so it says lock and unlock as you can see right here lock and unlock that means if you pull this this way it's gonna unlock the hose you pull this way it's gonna lock it in place so we're gonna do that and as you can see it's pretty straightforward we're gonna go through this hole like this just slide it like this as you can see there's actually a socket right here that holds in place and Okay, so it locks in place. This is actually better than the Pinguino design, the DeLonghi one, which is more expensive. And I find like, uh, you know, the lock and lock, like you just move left and right by turning it and always come, comes loose. So it's kind of annoying. And this design is actually better. Hose, so it's supposed to be faster cooling. So I slide it. There's a lock right here. So that one locks in place looks kind of like this after you insert the two holes so those each holes are expandable so you just expand like this this one also and move a little bit closer uh, this one actually that's what it's for is that it goes right here to block so to seal this is not a non-sticky uh, seal so it's preventing air and bugs from going in. See guys, this is the seal that goes right here. Uh, so to prevent uh, hot air from coming in and cold air co from going out. They provide like a lock where you can screw this. So preventing people from opening uh, the window. And this is supposed to be the hot air out. And as you can see, there's a lock right here. And we're gonna place inside this make this uh, easier to put in i find you have to take this out the grill and then install this first because otherwise the hose gonna pull you out and so it's better to install the grill first and then attach the hose later so uh there's a lock right here and you want to insert this and clip it to the design right here and so it's kind of like um find it easier probably to take that out and install it Pro probably gonna take this out first and then gonna install this let's see so we're gonna install this so it's easier for you to take it out and push this probably yeah you're gonna hear that click so take it out and put this first uh, instead of installing to the hose so I'm gonna take it out like this gonna take it out and install this be easier because I find one side right here it's more bumpy than the other side so since the window is actually flat right here you're gonna be you're gonna encounter like a problem where this side is more elongated so you want to place this this way so this side is actually going up Just like that and here click it's all inserted right here make sure this is inserted this is inserted so it's locked so when you move it it's not gonna go out. i like how they included the grill the delonghi one didn't have the grill so you know a pretty big one can come inside 
the hole and leave in here. This side is more bumpy. This one is less bumpy. I'm gonna use this side facing up right here, the bumpy one. I'm gonna insert it like this. Uh, so I changed the placement because I find that if you have your air conditioner sitting this way, you want a hole to be close to that. So I'm gonna place back the seal. So you wanna adjust this first and then when you uh, maneuver and put this tube inside, so this is easier, like that. Just it's gonna lock in place like this. Bring air in, and I'm gonna push this a little bit towards the window so it's not a stretch out because you can feel a pressure from the tube if you uh, put it too far. Okay. You can see here there's a click right here. So this one is gonna lock this in place. And I find this mechanism is better than the Longi uh, Pinguino, the more expensive one. Because you want to just, you know, snap it. The other one you have to screw it and then uh, it's kind of hard. So it looks like this, so you can leave it like this. Because it's going to take some space right here. So it's not like you can put it way, you know, against the wall. Uh, you need to have some space because the tube is taking some space. And the dual hose design is actually taking a lot, a lot of space. So if you're concerned about this, it's a, you should get a single hose, but still single hose, you will need some space right here. And dual hose should cool faster the room and should have less air pressure uh, inside the room. Negative air pressure, that's what they call, you know, energy efficient. So how far can you uh, take this and you know, pull it out the, from the window is, you know, this, uh, you can move this around because you you have like wheels on the bottom but uh as you move around it's not gonna extend so much like i'm gonna show you like i'm gonna expand this a little bit all right so i expand it a little bit more and you should be able to move it around just you know this far probably a little bit more but like that's how far you can go so if you need to uh contract this you just you know pull on this compress it together and it's gonna make the hole shorter so if you want it to be against the wall and not taking up a lot of space you do this and then uh you know, pull back down if you want to that's how you can adjust the hose just like that and we're gonna put it like this so very close to the window but you know the hose is taking some space yeah uh, I'm gonna have it have it like this and so it's recommended to have it two hours stand upright so to not damage the compressor usually it's six hours and so if you have it already like uh, waited for two hours or six hours and you can plug it into directly an outlet so they don't recommend an extension cord and they recommend a three prong so it's uh, uh grounded right guys so this is the remote control the high sense remote control uh, if you don't want to control it with the phone so four different modes cooling heating uh fan and you can also have the de dehumidify and then uh, you have fan right here so handy this is to you know increase the level decrease swing oh this is nice they didn't have this on the penguino the longi swing which is nice timer and a dimmer so you won't see at night uh, the lights so much and so also they have right here the QR code where you can scan for ios and android to download the app which is the connect live that's what it's called so you can uh, wi-fi pair with your phone and you can control it with google home make sure you plug it into a three prong plug just like this and when you plug it you have it's not going to turn on unless you do power on so i have to press this for it to start uh, and then just power on and pull the air. I'm gonna go to fan mode. 
to show you guys. That's how loud it is. And it just starts to open. You can feel the cold air, which is cool. This looks like a garbage can, a little bit like things in there. And this is the temperature Fahrenheit inside the room. Uh, so I wonder if you have it to Celsius. Yeah, you can switch it to Celsius right here. Uh, so I guess you can uh, decrease the temperature if you want. Uh, you cannot decrease or increase since it's a fan mode, but you can increase right here to high, medium, and low low fan so high fan i wonder how how strong it is let's see wow it's pretty strong you can feel the air blowing like very strong this is like you don't need like another fan inside the room for hot summer and we're gonna do low for now all right for those who actually use uh, fahrenheit and want to switch to celsius you need a remote control so on the mode right here just hold five seconds so just hold on it, one, two, three, four, five. This is the temperature you want to set inside the room. And then this is the actual room temperature. So this is not the actual room temperature. This is the temperature you want it to cool down to here. And so right now I'm on fan mode. So if I do up, oh, 17, 18. All right, so if you bump it up, it's gonna automatically switch to the cool mode. And because, you know, it's below 20 degrees, so it's gonna go to the cool mode because in order to cool down the room, it has to go to the air conditioning. And kind of like, I like the gentle light right here. It's clearly visible, it's big. And at night, I bet it's not gonna uh, bother like, people from sleeping and so here on the remote control you can have a sleep mode for five seconds so if you do dim just press on it it's good to go dim it's gonna turn off the light press it back it's gonna turn it back on all right so turn press once it's gonna turn off the light and if you go on sleep mode so you can you can hear the air right here the compressor kicking kicking in and I'm gonna go to the fan mode. Oh fan mode is actually displaying the fan. I'm gonna go to the fan mode right here. So fan mode is actually not displaying anything because you know you cannot set a temperature if you want a fan mode. But right now the temperature is 21 inside and you can hear the fan right here so if you increase the fan this is on high right now you can decrease the fan oh okay so you press down that's decreasing the temperature not, not the fan if you press the fan it's gonna go through the medium fan low fan right here so this actually regulates only the temperature for air conditioning air conditioning so air con is this fan mode is you know low medium high and then you can have swing let's see swing if you press on swing it's gonna open this lid right here and try to swing up and down and actually the air is directed so that means air will go from bottom to low right here I thought it's gonna go left and right as well but no it's only like forward facing so if you want to stop so if you want to stop the air from flowing like you know one direction just hit on swing it's gonna stop so it's gonna stop and air will blow only this direction right here if you want to move and want to have a lower air so this way and just press swing again it's gonna stop can I turn it off right here with the green button? It's gonna turn off everything and I guess it's gonna shut down the lid right here. So it's uh, kind of noisy, right? Uh, at first, but uh, I suggest you guys, when you cool down your room, 
you want to put the fan to like really high so put to really high so it cools down the room and after that you want to you know slow it down it's going to be more quiet i'm going to show you this room i think it can do like twice this room like one and a half or twice because you can feel like it's pretty powerful for 8000 BTU, 550 square feet. Right, uh, they have a Connect Live app which you can download to your Android or iOS app, iOS phone, and then so you can actually uh, connect with this a Hisense portable air conditioner. And so what you want to do, you want to use your phone, and then uh, you want to actually, you know, move over. And mine is on iOS. You want to tap on that. Show you the Connect Live app and you want to do and get it once you download it you just hit open and you know if you want to allow yeah connect to bluetooth allow it says add device so just hit next uh, scan the code discover okay so get started you want to create an account uh, you can also sign it with your Gmail as well Apple ID. Once I sign it with my Apple ID or email, you want to hit agree, sign in, and you just sign in. And now you can add start here to add appliance. Just hit on that and choose the category. So uh, mine is uh, not a split air, is a portable air conditioner. So that's this one right here and turn on the appliance press the swing button six times on the remote the buzzer will sound to indicate that your appliance is ready to connect proceed when your unit displays display shows 77 so we're gonna turn on the air conditioning with the remote and then also we're gonna do um, so it says actually you hit the swing button six times so when i hit one two three four five six and you hear beep 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 and it should say 77 right here on here so proceed when you see 77 right here it's 77 uh, have you enabled the device you see confirm then hit open settings so you want to go to your wi-fi it says his right here and that's the wi-fi for your air conditioner so wait for it to be connected to the wi-fi so it's connected right here once it's connected you want to come back and you hit next and so connect to your wi-fi so here you want to tap the drop down to select your home wi-fi uh, okay just enter your password and just hit connect after you enter your password so yeah it takes a little bit uh, probably 10 seconds and you're gonna do you know you can select a room you're gonna do default room you're gonna add the device you can name it whatever you want and now it's in here so once you hit on portable air conditioner the temperature it's at 72 degrees right now inside the room and you can turn it off and on with this you can also uh, have fan mode low fan mode uh, airflow already off unit temperature you can switch back between uh, celsius and uh, fahrenheit so I just switched to Celsius right here and showing me uh, 22 degrees Celsius and so timer you can do favorites share device you have manuals right here I have service so if I do mode right here I can select you know the four different mode and so I'm gonna do uh, fan right now cool mode and just switch to cool mode right here so it's on cool mode right now and it's actually cooling and if i go back i can see the temperature in the room is 22 and i want the temperature to be cooled at you know if i want it to be 21 it's gonna turn on the air conditioning if it's lower the temperature is lower than the room temperature so yeah so that's pretty cool and now you can do uh, fan speed auto you can also disable it you're gonna have low medium high so if I hood medium and I switch automatically on here I can see it's selected 
right here, which is pretty cool. And also, uh, if you do automation, you know, you can have timer. Let me show you timer. So you can have timer, you can start, you know, aircon or fan or whatever mode you want, like heating at what time. So it's in uh, 24 hours time. So at 14, which is 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., uh, what day of the week you want. And you can create that. Uh, so I'm going to select a different time right here. I'm going to end at a different time, as you can see. And I'm going to create this. And so it's going to start that uh, based on your timer, so which is nice. And also automation right here. You can automate this. So if you do a scene, it's going to do certain actions. So manual trigger, time-based, uh, and then action. So if you do time-based on Friday, create, and then I'm going to add action, portable air conditioner. I'm going to select the mode right here. I'm going to cool temperature, uh, 18 degrees Celsius on medium fan, and I'm going to create. You can have a test one. All right, so you can enable this. I'm going to disable. So I'm going to show you how to link your Hisense portable air conditioner to your Google Home. You can do the same with Alexa. So you search Google Home, just install it on your uh, on your phone. And then uh, you want to go to actually plus right here. You're going to add. You're going to do setup device right here. And not new device. You're going to do works with Google. Link one of your ex existing device or services like connected light bulbs or plugs. And then we're going to do link. And our app is called connected. We're going to do search. So you want to search connect live. So connect live. So it's just one word. And that's the app that was controlling the air conditioner uh, from your phone. And so we're going to have to sign in. So we signed in by Apple earlier. So after that, it says connect live. It's linked. So once it's linked, you're going to see portable air conditioner. Just hit on that and go to next right here. So you can name a room right here. Uh, I'm going to do bedroom. And custom room. We're going to name it uh, room. And so that's it. So it's already connected now. And so we're going to see uh, in London room, portable air conditioner. So if you plug in. So now I'm going to use uh, Google Home to actually activate and control the aircon. So what you want to do is you can control with your phone also with the Google Home. Just tap on it. So to turn on, just tap on the power button right here. And it's going to turn on your air conditioning from your phone. So you can control it within the Google Home app. So you don't need to have the Connect Live app. Uh, so this function has only the on and off, but if you want to use Google, it has more function, like setting temperature and so on. So uh, let me turn it off, back off, just turn off. Okay, so it's off now. So you can control with Google Home. Uh, the This one has more control, uh, the Connect Live app, and settings and so on. So I'm going to use Google now and then Hey Google, turn on portable air conditioning. Okay, turning the portable air conditioner on. See, so we just turn it on. Hey Google, set temperature to 64 degrees on portable air conditioner. The portable air conditioner is currently set to fan only mode. To change the temperature, you'll need to switch it to a different mode. So let's say it's on fan mode right now. I'm gonna use Google to set it on the air conditioning mode. Hey Google, set portable air conditioning to cool mode. Sure, changing the portable air conditioner to cool. To, okay. Hey Google. Set temperature to 64 degrees on portable air conditioner. All right, setting the portable air conditioner to 64 degrees. So you just set it to 64 right now. And right now the room temperature is 70. Hey Google, 
turn off portable air conditioner. Got it. Turning off the portable air conditioner. So just turn it off. You can also set the fan mode. You can also set the timer and so on. So that's just the the mode. You just tell you know Google uh, set portable air conditioner to. You can change the name as well. Uh, if you don't want to have portable air conditioner, you can say AC or something like uh, a name that is easier to say. Uh, and you can set these settings, which is pretty cool, right, from Google. And you can do that for Alexa as well. If you find this video helpful, please forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.